Sweden's first female prime minister resigns, mere hours after being elected. Here's a summary of the article. The Social Democrats' junior coalition partner, the Green Party, announced on Wednesday it would leave the government after the Swedish parliament late in the afternoon voted through an opposition budget co-authored by the anti-immigration Sweden Democrats. The right wing's opposition budget, negotiated jointly by the Conservative Moderates and Christian Democrats, and the Sweden Democrats, passed, won with 154 votes to 143, after the Centre Party at the 11th hour announced that it would not support the government's budget. Key points, what you need to know about Sweden's new budget. Green Party spokespersons Per Bolland and Marta Stenevi slammed the approved budget, describing it as differentiating between people, butchering the environmental budget, and increasing emissions, referring to the new budget's lowered petrol and diesel tax, a reduction of 50 or per litre from May 1, 2022. They stated at a press conference that it is not the Green Party's goal to carry out a budget negotiated by the Sweden Democrats, and that they cannot sit in a government on a budget negotiated by the Sweden Democrats. At a press conference held shortly after the Green Party's decision to walk out over the right-wing opposition's budget, she said she had handed in her resignation as Prime Minister to the Speaker of Parliament. The Green Party did say that it would support Magdalena Andersson in another Prime Minister vote if it comes to that. This post received a score of 18,000, with an up-vote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The caption on her photo says, Incoming and outgoing Prime Minister, a touch savage. Grand opening, grand closing. Goddamn your man Hoff cracked the can open again. I see you are a man of culture. Who you gonna find doper than him? I've become so n-u-m-b. Now this is culture. That collision course. Sounds like a reasonable decision on her behalf. So her coalition quit? I know very little about coalition governments. Yes the MP said bye-bye when their budget failed to pass and the opposition instead had theirs passed. They didn't want to run the country on a conservative budget. This actually makes sense. If you pass the budget, you should be responsible for the effects of that budget. Yeah, the opposition wanted their budget passed. Seriously, WTF? Can someone explain to me how that works? The budget is passed by a majority, yes, votes. The center party didn't provide yes votes for the left budget, which lead to the right budget being passed 154 to 144. Basically, the coalition of parties agreed on the PM, but they did not agree on the budget. After the budget vote, the Green Party left the coalition, which meant the coalition was no longer a majority. People are confused because it's all essentially reasonable, if politically complex needs more semi-literate tweeting and veiled, or overt, death threats. You guys pass budgets? She is still the longest sitting female PM in Sweden's history. Also the shortest sitting female PM in Sweden's history. Presumably the shortest sitting PM in Sweden's history? Also the tallest standing female PM in Sweden's history. And the blondest female PM in Sweden's history. Which is weird, since out of all of Sweden's female PMs she also has the darkest hair. And simultaneously the best, and the worst, underscore female underscore dancer. Underscore edited for accuracy, underscore. Me at every wedding. So you're the one the videography guys love to film and who starts the, who is that, and why did you film that person nobody here knows conversations. A Colorado liquor store owner says Swedish PMs are quitting their job after one shift if they don't like it knowing she can get another job on her lunch break. That's too meta. Udell here. Help a brother out. Haha <laughs> I just scrolled past this a few minutes ago. Thanks. In fairness, whenever I've tried to build a cabinet from Sweden, it's fallen apart in a matter of minutes. Damn trotten. Her decision to step down followed a turbulent series of events that saw her budget fail to pass through parliament before the Junior Greens party announced it was leaving the coalition government. There is a constitutional practice that a coalition government should resign when one party quits, Anderson, a social democrat, told reporters. I don't want to lead a government whose legitimacy will be questioned. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.